Hi everyone, I am Shapnil Banerjee and welcome you all in the third part of our series Blood Supply of Brain. So in this part we shall talk about the circle of will is probably the most important topic in this series. Because if I talk from the clinical point of view or the academic point of view, this thing is really very important. Cause circle of will is the connection between some really important arteries like the vertebral artery and the internal carotid artery. And this one is also the source of several aneurysms like the BD's aneurysm, rupture of which may give rise to hemorrhagic stroke. So firstly, we shall draw its label diagram for our better understanding. And then we shall talk about the arteries involved in its formation. So firstly, we have the vertebral artery. And here we have the interior spinal artery and the posterior spinal artery. Now here we have the basilar artery. Now we have the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Now we have the labyrinthine artery and pontine arteries. Now this one is the superior cerebellar artery. And here comes the posterior cerebral artery. Now here we have the internal carotid artery. Now here we have a communicating artery that is the posterior communicating artery and this one is the anterior cerebral artery and now here we have another communicating artery that is the anterior communicating artery so now we shall label them out so this one is the vertebral artery this one is the posterior inferior cerebellar artery now this one is the anterior spinal artery this one is posterior spinal artery this one is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery these are the pontine arteries this one is the basilar artery this one is the labyrinthine artery. This one is a superior cerebellar artery. This one is posterior cerebral artery. This one is posterior communicating artery. This one is internal carotid artery. This one middle cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery, and this is anterior communicating artery. So now we shall discuss about the arteries involved in its formation. So if we see anteriorly, we have the anterior communicating artery. Then at the interlateral side, we have the interior cerebral artery. At the lateral side, we have two internal carotid arteries. At the posterior lateral side, we have the posterior communicating artery. At the posterior side, we have the posterior cerebral artery. Here you have to remember a very important thing that middle cerebral artery doesn't take part in the formation of circular phyllis. So that was all for this video. If you have any kind of doubt, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.